Hi everyone, I'm Stan from Eagle Vision and I'm here with Jeffrey Reed. Jeffrey, welcome. Thank you, Stan. Uh, Jeffrey is a very experienced filmmaker with a background in advertising and over 30 years of working in the space and with some of the largest ad agencies in the world. What I really want to talk about today is how to create a brand story for a property development. How does a creative mind come up with all the ideas and concepts and ultimately deliver it to the success in the marketplace? So Jeffrey, I guess in this episode, I want to talk about how does the concept come about? So how do you start in that thinking process? It's a really good question because uh, with most of the property developers that uh, I've worked with, uh, usually there's no creative um, framework around the project. Uh, developers tend to think about the nuts and bolts of the project and the sort of conceptual issues come afterwards. Mm, right. So uh, the creative process is an, I is an interesting one. Um, the way I like to work is organically with the space itself or with the project development uh, itself. So I'm looking for ideas that come out of the location uh, out of the lifestyle promises um, uh, and something that will fit rather than taking an idea from over here and then sort of bolting it onto that project. Mm. And a good example of that probably is uh, one we've done for Piper's Crest okay. for Lancer Developments. Uh, with Piper's Crest there was not much to say about its location other than the Scottish name and the River Angus kind of okay. ran through that project. So it was kind of off the wall, uh, the idea for the Piper's Crest project, but I was imagining uh, a couple of frogs that lived in the Angus River who were kind of impacted by the development around them. So they became the spokes frogs <laughs> for, for the development itself. Lachlan? Yes, Fergus! Piper's Crest want us to do the radio ads. Who would believe a hired frog? That's just it. We are the first residents living here on the River Angus. Uh, the name's Lachlan. The River Angus, dummy. That's where we live. Piper's Crest at Strath. Struth! Aye, of course, that's brilliant! Fantastic. And did you do much about the target audience and how did you connect that concept together? Yeah, um, our, our clients were able to give us a little bit of a framework because it was for young first home buyers okay. principally. Yeah. Um, so, and we used a radio campaign where we actually had uh, the frogs voiced by a remarkable uh, voice actor. And um, they became, uh, he sounded exactly like Billy Connolly. So we had a combination of sort of Billy, Billy Connolly and Sean Connery voices. Scottish accent. Yeah, remarkable <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's a, a, an important point to make because whilst it sounds like a lot of fun, uh, c getting cut through with the budgets that developers have, which are often relatively modest, is really important. So creatively, you, you really need a big idea that will enable you to kind of, you know, cut through all the noise of advertising that is around there and, and get attention. That's kind of job number one. And these radio spots for um, Piper's Crest um, had tremendous impact in radio. Can you imagine, you know, a sort of a riff from uh, Braveheart, you know, the, the Mel Gibson riff about, uh, Dying in your beds many years from now. And it's a frog talking to you about Piper's Crest. So uh, they had a tremendous uh, audience reaction and, uh, and the campaign was really good for Lancer. They sold a lot of early uh, plots in the development right at the beginning. And, uh, and we won uh, a lot of awards with that creative work as well. Fantastic. And so once I guess that brand essence is established, what do you do then? What happens next? Well, I think the really important thing from a marketing point of view, for, from the developer's point of view, is to have an image that you can then, uh, we call it brand stretching. You can apply that image to the signage, uh, to the posters, to, to billboards. So you need an idea strong enough creatively, uh, an idea with legs, that will enable you to kind of use it in a whole bunch of collateral material from the brochures that go to the consumer. Um, maybe it sometimes even informs the name of the property development itself. We're, we're used to working with people often where we come in very early in the process 
where there might be a name for the development, but we get a chance to kind of uh, contribute ideas to the, the, the brand imaging across a host of materials. Yeah, brilliant. Look, that's all that we wanted to cover in this particular episode around that brand concept. Next time around, we'll talk more about how these, I guess, images and imagery gets transferred into the rest of the collateral. Thanks so much for watching.